So three plus two from Mr. Yu Pasinka. I played him many times and it has never been easy. Okay, let's go one e four then. And Ivan, yeah, exactly. I think he he has already played this against me. Okay, whatever. Let's just try to develop the pieces in a reasonable way, and then we'll think. He goes a six, trying to get b five. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's confusing, I must say. Okay, let's go with you know, Queen E2. So now D5 could be could be an idea in some of the lines. Yeah, B5 is logical. Once you go A6, you normally go B5. So he goes Bishop B7. Can we go on like Knight E5 or Knight G5? I mean, we probably can. Feels more logical to go to e5, although and g5 was also interesting. So actually now in some lines we can even take on b5 or sudden a b queen takes b5 check. So after knight e5, he yeah, maybe now actually. So let's say we take on b5. Um, so queen, queen d7, bishop takes d5. It seems to work actually. Probably we, we also have uh, some, uh, yeah, some normal good moves like queen f3, for instance. Queen f3, let's say queen f6. Yeah, takes on d5, we just win the pawn. Also looks good. After f6, we go queen h5 check. Yeah, I don't know, let's just go queen f3. So knight takes b5 was interesting. I mean, I don't see what's uh, what's wrong with it actually, but queen f3 just just seems to be much more simple way. And we don't show off when when we don't need to. So we just take a pawn and uh, yeah, try to convert it slowly. When I say take a pawn, I mean the line queen f6, knight takes d5. Queen takes f3, for instance, knight takes c7 check, and then we take on f3. Or uh, queen f6, knight takes d5, he takes on d5, we just go bishop takes d5. And uh, yeah, it's a healthy pawn, it seems. I actually think I saw the, the game of Magnus against the same guy. And I start to realize, I think in this game, so Magnus was lucky to, to get this knight takes f7. So I start to think he could actually play exactly the same sequence of moves. Don't know why would we care. But um, yeah, it's interesting. I think uh, yeah, Magnus in, in one of his banter blitzes play, played exactly the same guy. It was a uh, Scandinavian for sure. And I think, yeah, Black ended up, uh, yeah, I ended up wondering that this knight takes up seven idea. Okay, so this is exactly the pawn we wanted. Now we go a4 to provoke b4, I guess. Right now, yeah, how should we play this actually? I mean, there are different ways to to play this. So we could just go c4. We could just castle for now. 
Okay, castling shouldn't be dramatically bad, I would say. Although some, sometimes you you want the king to be in the center. So he goes f6. Uh, maybe we just go like c4 or maybe check and c4. Okay, whatever, we can go c4 and then we can... Um, then we can include the check if we want. Also, probably it would be a little bit, a uh, little bit more smart to start with check. Okay, now there is no more difference, I believe. So we just go c4. He goes c5. We go d5. No, he was c5, but then I think it's. Uh, it's quite bad for black as well. Yeah, now we go rook b1 and we control b8, so he cannot really fight for the b file. Okay, so now I think we can do literally anything. Let's start by play, playing h4 to prevent g5. Okay, I don't know what... Uh, what is he doing exactly? Ah, so that's what he uh, that's what he wants. Okay, sure. And then we bring the knight to d6, I guess. Okay, so knight c4 takes takes. Knight e4 would be a better move probably, but it should be still good enough here. Yeah. Removing knight d6 looks safe. Yeah, but we don't even need to, okay. Okay, now we go knight d6. Threatening mate, actually. Okay, and then we go check, check. Um. Yeah, anything wins. Okay, let's take a pawn first. Yeah, so he doesn't have moves. We can just go e5 and improve slowly. He goes f5, okay. So after king f3, he probably wants king e5. Uh, 95, which is still uh, a loss for him, but we can even avoid that. So we just uh, go via via the square that he he cannot attack. So King G5. Yeah, I would say King H6 for now. Yeah. Okay. 